Lizzie, thank you for joining me on Give Me Five from Cornwall today. Lovely to see you. Now, Lizzie, you are a social worker. Do you see social work as work God wants us all to do in a way? Yes, I do. Tell us more. One of the things, the reason for that is because I believe that God, God's design for us was to be part of a family. Nice. And I feel that the, the difficulty with social work is that it's been taken over and become a system right. instead of a family. And I feel, I believe personally that, you know, it's about me caring for the person next to me in my life as if they're part of my family and that God designed for us to care for one another and yes sometimes that means that we need to be honest and tell people things that's uncomfortable for them to hear yeah. but as you do in a family you still work it through you still have relationship with that person you don't split up and not speak to somebody for years because a family should just accept one another and love one another and remember that God loved us and I just I think I'm grateful really because the Lord has used the social work training to give me a greater understanding of who we are as a people as individuals but the fact that we all contribute to the whole of society and we all you know have a part to play and a part of responsibility to take for the person next to us so that we hold each other up and care for each other and obviously you know as somebody who has God in my life I believe that you know part of the ability that I have to love and care for people comes from him yes. because I know that he loves me and so from that love I can love other people with his love you know and I you know I just feel that you know social work it originated actually that historically it originated with Salvation Army oh. because obviously God wanted and led the people to be caring for the other people in society and I just I feel that in a sense it's the church's responsibility to be yeah. caring for society in a lot of ways yeah and I can see Liz that you're a caring person so what would you say your strength and weaknesses are as a social worker Liz um I think I think my strengths particularly lie in being able to love people and still look at the person as God loves them and one of the things that the Lord really sort of showed me fairly early on in my work was that actually the person that's before me is still a son a child of God the only yes. difference between that person and me is that I know God and I've invited him into my heart but that other person is still on the journey to come to know God and they just haven't met him yet right. and so you know I I just feel that you know when I look at other people I still need to give love to that person and yes you know they might have you know struggles with drugs and alcohol but God still loves them anyway yes of course he does yeah I would agree with you there and I can see that you're such a caring natured person so what kind of role does God play in your own family life then Liz um, well, <laughs> he's fairly central actually. My husband and I have been married, actually it's 24 years this year, my husband and I have been married. Congratulations. And, yeah, my husband does a care work job and he actually works for a Christian care company um, and he looks after an adult with um, learning disabilities, physical disabilities yes. and who's had a brain injury yes. and, and I think you know my husband and I both you know find that the Lord has given us in each other a relationship that's based on him that gives us strength to be able to care for other people so that you know you're giving out all the time when you do that so you know you have you have to in a way sort of ask the Lord to help you to create a place at home that is a safe place for each of you to be able to care for each other but also to provide that place where you can switch off yes and, of course and be yourself do you know what I mean so yeah I really feel that you know within the family you know we've sort of created a space where you know we're very honest and open with each other but also you know if if one of us is exhausted and just wants to you know veg out in front of this in front of the telly do you know <laughs> yeah, what I, mean? I do 
we just do that you know because you know when you're giving out to people you know sometimes you just give and you give and you give all day do you know what I mean and you just get to the point where it's like oh. <laughs> well, you you need to replenish your energies as well don't you so yeah that's yeah. Uh, really good that you can do that as a family so Liz what is your favorite bible verse and why <sighs> I had to think about this one because there's actually quite a few. Yeah, there are. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of lot to choose from. <laughs> yeah. The whole of the Bible. <laughs> Several <There is>. answers. <laughs> um, one of the things I think I reflected on this, and and I realised one of the things that the Lord ministered to me very early on, and and really reiterated to me while I was going through my social degree, social work degree, was about abiding in Him. Yes. And the favourite scripture for me is um, in about roughly about John 15, where Jesus is talking about abiding in the vine and that we are part of the branches. And if a man abides in me and I in him, he will do great things for without me, he can do nothing. And one of the things that our Lord showed me was that actually my relationship with him is a lot more internal than yes. I'd actually realised. Yes particularly because obviously I'm wanting to bring his presence at work. I want to be a blessing in the workplace and that he showed me I can actually have that internal connection in my heart going with him while I'm talking to the person outside. And so I can allow my body to be talking and interfacing as it were, a bit like yeah. the computer screen that comes up with the internet search. Yeah. But my heart inside can actually be connected to him through my spirit man with his Holy Spirit so yes. that my spirit man and my heart can be asking the Lord questions and can be able to be a blessing to the person because I might get a word of knowledge or I might you know feel that the Lord just wants me to love on that person and just be really positive towards that person because they're coming from a place of such deficit. Yeah, so you look for opportunities from the Lord in that way, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So it's just, so I've learnt, I'm learning and over the last few years that it's about abiding. It's Jesus in me is like breathing him in and soaking in him and that I can connect, you know, I can have five minutes at lunchtime and just yes. turn my heart and just feel his peace and his love and just download as much of that as I can so that when my next interaction with somebody is I can still be the love of God that's lovely that person you know yeah that's brilliant Liz now I know that you're into sewing you are very talented in your sewing you've got something to show us there Liz <laughs> that you yeah. have been making that's beautiful and you have a website called so creative tell us more about that liz uh well i've had um i started off doing when my son was little doing patchwork lessons yeah and i really enjoyed it but i absolutely got stuck on something called crazy patchwork and it's just so amazing i absolutely love doing it this is this is an example of a heart cushion and it's i lovely. don't know whether or not you can see it but it's all uses all my decorative stitches on my sewing machine with similar color threads and it's it's re i'm using up here this is a piece of a tie <laughs> <laughs> this is a piece of an old bed sheet wow. that somebody gave me um, this is a piece of um I think this is a piece of a, a dress. Amazing. <laughs> and and I just I got creative over I've over the um, COVID over lockdown, and just decided that's it. I'm going to start making some things that are really lovely. And so I came up with these these hearts. So they're crazy patchwork. Yeah. Um, and and it's it's a foundation piece that you sew with decorative stitches down so that each piece of fabric is surrounded with a pretty stitch yeah. and um i made a wedding present for um some family members of my husband they were getting married yeah and i was able to direct um to actually make it for them and i put their names on it and i sewed hearts and beading and stuff on it and it was just i really i so enjoyed it that i just i've made a load of these up yeah <laughs> i That's absolutely love them i have them out around my sewing room because i just want to sit and look at them they're so pretty <laughs> <laughs> they are very pretty so lucy if somebody wants to look at your website or order from you where where do we go from here 
yeah i haven't got a website yet because okay. that's quite expensive but one of the things i've done is i've done so creative on facebook okay and you can like my page or follow my facebook page and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to post some pictures of my cushions that i've got available yes. and people can private message me through facebook um, for the cost and I'll be doing these including postage at about £20 but okay, they're all completely you know made and using recycled fabrics I've stuffed them with proper pillow stuffing and everything so you know I know that they're going to be safe you know yeah, so it's lovely. really lovely that's I'm great. going to go into doing some bags like it as well, I think. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Lizzie, thank you so much for this interview. You've been a joy to interview. It's been great fun. So oh, there's only one thing Lizzie. left to do. Give me five, Lizzie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> thank you. It's been an honour. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, it really has been a pleasure to interview you, Lizzie, and uh, to see what the Lord is doing in your life as well. God bless. Thank you, Jeannie. I'm honoured. Bless you.